if you've ever wanted to collaborate and record some vocals on someone else's song, in this video I'm going to give you the opportunity to do just that. Let's go! Hi, my name is Pete and welcome to Studio Live today. My goal here is to help you create, record and release your best music. But in this one, I'm asking you for a little bit of help because we've had the idea, we've been recording this song, Temba song for the last sort of two weeks and the community has had an idea. Well, I had an idea and I put it out there to the community that we should get a big gang vocal chorus for the last chorus of this song. So that's exactly what we're doing. We've already had a couple of them submitted. I'm going to show you here how you can be involved, but you've only got the next two days to do it. So if you're watching in the future, you may have missed out. But let's dive in now and show you what's going on. So here's the project in GarageBand, and it's these tracks that we're looking at. There's actually only one, but I've doubled it up to put it on the left and right. So the gang vocal itself sounds like this. We're all just a work in progress. It does that four times, and then it does this four times. We're all just a work in progress. Nobody's got it figured out. So what I'm asking is for you, if you want to be involved in this, you can record in these sections. So it's only going to be about 20 bars. It's only recording that four times for the first time and then four times for the second time. We've already had a couple of folks who've done this as our test. So what I'm going to do is I'll jump over to the other project and I'll show you how this all works. So what I've done here is I've trimmed off all of the sections from the front of this to only have these last couple of sections here that have the final chorus and these gang vocals. And you'll see here I've already imported some that my friends Jade Starr and Thomas Christ have already recorded. And we've started playing around with those here. So what I've actually done is I've exported two different files. One is just these two, just the gang vocals, so that you can hear what you need to sing along to. So they'll just have this sound. We're all just a work in progress. And the other files will have absolutely everything else. We'll just remove Thomas and Jade there. The other files will have absolutely everything else from this point in the song. Because we're all just a work in progress. So all that you need to do is grab the backing track in and sing your own backing track over the top and then solo your backing track and send it back to me. I'm going to show you an example of exactly how to do that right here, right now. In the description of this video, there is a link and that's going to take you to this Google Drive folder. It is my work in progress folder and all you need to do from here is download. Now, if you're comfortable with the gang vocal, you don't need this one. You'll only need the backing track. But if you want to download both, just click or tap on one of those, hit the little three dots here and hit the download button. Now I'm in Safari, so just paste it into Safari here in your browser. This will mean that you can go to the download manager here and that will download directly into your downloads folder. If we tap on there, there it is. It's in my downloads folder. I can now bring this back into GarageBand or any other DAW. Here's the cool thing. If you don't use GarageBand iOS, if you're using it on your Mac or your PC or any DAW, you can bring this WAV file in. So I'll show you now on the other side how we can set up in GarageBand and record over the top. So I'm here in GarageBand. I'm going to create a new song and we just need a audio recorder track here. So we'll come back out here to our track view and what we need to do is set this project up to import this file. Now to do this, we need to go to the settings here and make sure our tempo is at 84 because that's the tempo of this particular song. So we'll go tempo 84. The other thing we need to make sure is that for our section, so if we tap on this little plus button here, our section is automatic, which it is. This means that when we bring in this backing track, it will be able to have all of the bars we need. So now what we need to do is tap on the import button here for our loops, go to files, and then go down here to browse from the files app. Now what we'll do is we'll go to our downloads folder, and this is the backing track. This is the version that we just downloaded. If we tap on that one, it'll bring us into our downloads here, and it'll just take a little moment. There it is. You can see there, backing only, 84 BPM. And we'll drag this one in and just put it on a blank track. Now what happens here is if we zoom in, there it is. It's actually brought the whole thing in here. If we hit play on this one, because we're all just a work in progress. 
And what you'll notice there is it's right on the metronome. We can turn the metronome off because it's got drums there. But all you need to do then is actually set yourself up a new track. So go to the plus or whatever DAW you're using. Go to your vocals here, for instance, the lead vocals. And what I'll do is I'll plug in a microphone and we'll do a quick test record to show you how this works. So, so I've plugged plug the microphone in, in and as you can, can hear, we are monitoring. Hello! So we can start now singing our vocal in to go along with this. So all I'm going to do is hit the record button here. Because we're all just a work in progress. We're all just a work in progress. Hit the stop button there and we are done and good to go. We'll go back to our track view here. And now what we've got is there's our original backing track. But if we solo this, it's going to be just our backing vocals. Just a work in progress. And now all we need to do here is export this out. And this is what, if you want to participate in this, I would like you to send to me. Now, you are donating your vocals to this song, so I just wanted to make that clear as well. This is just for fun. Yes, I will be releasing this through DistroKid, and yes, people will be able to buy it and stream the song. But you know what? You'll get that deep, warm feeling in the cockles, and it's 100% optional if you want to contribute to this song. So, what can we do now? Well, what we can do is go back to our view here, our view of this one. I'll just give this a name. I'll just call this WIP Backing. You can call it whatever you like, and then you need to send this file to me. Now, the easiest way to do this is to use something like Google Drive or Dropbox or iCloud Drive and then send a link via email. So the first thing you'll need to do is export this by tap and hold and share it or whatever DAW you're using. However you share it, share it as a song. Make sure it's an uncompressed WAV file, 44.1 kilohertz, 24 bit and hit the share button. This will then come here. We can go open in and it's going to export that song. And then I need to save that file and then upload it somewhere. I'll show you how we can do this with Google Drive because for me, that's one of the easiest things to do. So what I'm going to do here is we'll just uh, we'll pop this into our audio share for now like that because I use audio share to kind of hold my files here. And there you go. We've got this WIP backing file here in audio share. Let's jump over to Google Drive now and I'll show you how we can upload it. Now this time we're going to use the Google Drive app. So if you don't have this one, just go to the app store. It's free. And if you've got a Google account or a Gmail account, you're going to have access to Google Drive. All we need to do is create a new folder is usually the best way to do this. So hit the plus button there and go new folder. If we just call it WIP for now and do that. And then we'll go in here and what we can do is actually upload a file. So if we hit plus and then we hit upload and then down in the bottom left, we hit browse. We can now go. And because we're here in audio share, there it is. It's right there. We just need to tap that one. It's going to start uploading. And then once it's uploaded, we can actually share this. And I'll show you how you can share this back with me by making this a public shared file before you send me a link. That is done. It is uploaded. All we need to do now is these little three dots here. We need to tap on those ones. And then we need to go into the share button here. And what we need to do is actually change this. Who has access to it? We need to tap on that one. And here where it's got restricted, we want to change that. And we want to go anyone with the link. So this means it'll open it up and anyone that has this link can view it. They can't edit it. They can't change it, but they can view it. So that's all I need you to do. And then when you come back to here, what you can now do is actually copy this link. So you can see there it's now shared. We can tap on that one and then we can go copy link. Now just paste that link into an email. Send it to me, Pete at studiolivetoday.com. And if you send that through, send that link through in the next two days, I'll be able to download it and then bring it on in to my project. Make sure you're only sending me a WAV file because any other files will be rejected. They won't come through the email. Uh, anything with nasty viruses or anything won't work either. So you don't need to try that. But if you can send me through uh, a WAV file, then uh, that will mean that you could be in. And then all I'll do there is bring it back into GarageBand, uh, which I'll show you right now. So we'll jump back into this version. And uh, as you can see, here's one I prepared earlier that I did with Jade and Thomas's vocals. So all I need to do here is do the exact same process we did before. Go to the loops here, uh, go to browse. And then the ones that I've downloaded from you, I will bring right in here to the project and we'll be good to go. So there you go. If you want to get involved in this project, if you want to sing vocals, if you've always been keen to collaborate, but never had anyone to collaborate with, well, guess what? You can collaborate with me. And I'm hoping that we get at least a dozen odd folks uh, who are willing to record their vocals and throw them here into the track. So if that's you, get on and get it done.